What's up you guys? You're watching Dare Direct and in today's video, I'm here with my special guest today, Giselle the Glam Goddess. Hey guys. Hey girl, hey. Or hey gods. So we're here today to do a skincare video for you guys. So these are a couple of products that we'll be using. So if you guys are interested in knowing how she stays looking so beautiful and how I stay looking so young, let's go ahead into it right now. Guys, so my first product is the Cetaphil. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Don't come for me. Um, the skin cleanser. This is a skin cleanser and the body. So they do have one just for your face and then they have body and face. And then, since we've been wearing masks every day, our new life, COVID life, I've been using a blackhead clearing scrub, but basically any type of scrub for acne and the blackheads. After the shower, oh, sorry, number one tip. When I'm cleansing, I use these together. Holy grail, seriously. Yeah. This gets up their dead skin. And I have the smaller version of that one that she has, and I also do actually own the same scrub thing. There. Out the shower, I use the Palmer's coconut oil. This is a face oil, so don't be like, oh my God. Well, this is face oil, and then it's a coconut water moisturizer. I like to put this on and use my rose quartz roller all over the face. And Mildred Hydrating Eye Cream. Protect your eyes. I set up. I use a rose water to spray my whole face. Sometimes I spray it in my hair, but rose water and glistening. Glistener? Glistener. Glister. Thank you, both. Got you. <laughs> so for mine, what I use is also the Cetaphil or Cetaphil, whatever. And I also use the Aveeno. All the products that we are showing you guys will be in the description. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos from me and also Giselle. I'm coming, y'all. So let's give her some love, you guys, on this channel because we're fam. Okay. You love me and you also love Giselle. Period. Right? Yeah. So the next product I got is the Aveeno. And this is a skin brightening scrub. So if you guys ever want just one product that I know for sure will get your skin like very clean and scrubbed. Like if you don't want to buy all these products, try this one. I love it so much. And cop this. All right, the next thing that I usually use is the eye cream. After I cleanse my face, I use the eye cream. And I also spray my face with this hard candy, hard candy toner. But we also have to have the ponds. Now, I live by ponds. I've been using this ever since I was little. Like, it, if you want something that will moisturize your face for the low, mm -hmm. for the cheap, mm -hmm. definitely get you some ponds. Mm -hmm. Oh, which this eye cream is also ponds, actually, also. And I do have an eye roller, and this is by Eco. Uh, but I got this from Kohl's. And. Then I go in with some witch hazel before I moisturize. So I forgot to say that witch hazel is important. Yes. So I think we went through everything, did we? We went through everything. Great. So what we're going to do next for you guys is we're going to step into the bathroom. We're going to use these products. You guys stay tuned because you definitely want to see exactly how we Put it on our face, how we clean it. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So first step, like I said, I always use this to scrub with the Cetaphil, my holy grail. I've got a little face, and I like to start from the bottom up. So here, huh? Be careful underneath your eyes. You don't want to go too hard underneath your eyes. Develop wrinkles. Get that forehead really good. And make sure you pay attention to your nose. But yes, go up. Gravity pulls your skin down, so you want to go up. And you want to rub gently. You don't want to scrub like it's sandpaper. It is your skin. Boom. So I'm just going to rinse this. Done for that. 
and then we're gonna rinse. I like to do two rinses, one with the warm water up, and then I do it with cooler water so it can close your pores. Next step is the blackhead clearing scrub. This has those little blackhead beads in there. So, just a little bit, you don't need a lot. Oh, and guys, I like to pay attention to my neck too. But since I'm not in the shower, we're not gonna do the neck. But, see, this is just a little bit too much. Um, with the scrub, I like to take about two minutes to scrub this really, really good into my skin. Forehead. Remember, we're going up. And two minutes, three minutes, whatever. Take your time. Love your skin. Love yourself. We forgot to mention water, guys. Make sure you drink a lot of water. My girl got some water with her. I'm drinking apple juice, but you know, I'll get my water later. <laughs> but yes, get that scrub on. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Scrub that forehead. Put those cheeks area. Get the mask area, y'all. I just had to start taking this every day because I was just so scared of breaking out. I was so terrified of having bumps underneath that mask. So, get it in. Rinse time. And remember, we're going from up, bottom, to top. And pet, pet dry. So that's step one, and that's step two. Cleanse with the scrubby and scrub. All right, guys, so first we're starting with the cleanser, exactly like Giselle. And we both happen to have the same cleanser, so that's awesome. And then I just put a little bit on my little scrub thingy, and then I just wet my face a little bit. I happen to use warm water sometimes, but not all the time. I wet my face up and then I just go around. No particular order. I wish I did have order like Giselle, but other than that, I just go all around my face. Try not to get this in your eyes because it burns. And I love this little scrub thingy because it gets off every last bit of dirt that you could have on your face. And then I just rinse. So then I just dry my face off a little bit and we jump straight into the scrub. So, I'll be using the Aveeno, like I said before, and I really love this scrub because it is so soft, but you can tell it's cleaning your face. Can we see the texture? Yep. And it's, it's very gooey, so it's really cool. And then, I'm just going to use cold water this time. Wet my face again, and then go in with the scrub. I gotta make sure to hit the bottom of my face because that's where most of my acne and stuff happens. And also the top right here on my forehead, I always get pimples in those same spots. All right, and then I just rinse it off. All right, so now we are all clean, guys. And now it's time for step three. Hey guys, so back with my eye cream. I like to just dab a little bit. I don't like to over product myself. So dab, dab, dab. 
So make sure it's more underneath here. And try to use your pinky, the bed of your finger. Look up and just tap in. You guys don't understand how good this feels. My face feels so clean right now. I can really go to sleep. Okay, so that's that's tapped all in. So then I go with the Palmer's coconut oil. And this is so, this is my stuff. So I like to start here on the forehead, a little around my eye area. Just a little bit on my nose. Here, here. I see a little drip, little drip, little drip. Bottom to the top. Ooh, we child. Can we say facial? I know I'm looking like a little wet monkey though. Ooh, not a wet monkey. <laughs> <laughs> not a wet monkey. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to say a baby seal. Y'all know how seals be wet. It's only looking like a baby seal with this oil. So here is when I have all this oil on my face is when I like to pull this good old rose cordial out. And oh baby, mm -mm. yes. And it's cool. It's always cool. I wanted to stick it in the refrigerator, but I really didn't need to. Pay attention to the under eyes, guys. Because this get baggy and saggy and wrinkled. Pay attention to that forehead. You get the wrinkles when you get older. Y'all would never guess my age, baby. Last number four. Is that a number four step? Baby, it's almost, it's almost gone. I miss. Last step. We juicy, baby. Baby, we juicy. And that's how I stay young, beautiful, glamorous, and youthful. Because one day we're going to do a poll and see if y'all can guess my age. That's what we're going to do. But I definitely feel like I just stepped out of the spa. Thank you. Okay, there you go. So first, I'm going to go in with some witch hazel. I really don't use a certain brand. This one I happen to get from the Dollar Tree. It's just witch hazel, it's all the same. All right, so now that I went in with the witch hazel, I'm gonna go ahead and spritz my face with the hard candy. And I love the way this smells. Never too much. Honestly, there's no such thing. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go in with some eye cream and this is the ponds i really love this brand you guys it's so affordable and you can get it almost anywhere and i just go up under my eye excuse the ugly faces that i make when i'm doing my face next now that we have done eye cream i'm gonna go in with this neutrogena hydro boost all over my face and I go ahead and rub it in not too much a little bit goes a long way with this then after that I'm just gonna take this roller and I'm just gonna roll it in make sure it seeps into the skin and you guys if you have not experienced a roller yet let me tell you, it is like a spa. Oh, and also, don't be afraid to get your neck when you're doing this because some people forget. Now that I finished that, we don't want to overdo it. I am going to take my Pond's moisturizer 
and I'm just gonna put it all over my face this is definitely a thick consistency so for you guys that have drier skin you definitely want to try this and I just put it all over my neck and my face I go behind my ears because I have some type of dermatitis. And it tends to get dry in this one area right here. And that is it you guys. Thanks for watching our video. And I'm gonna bring Giselle back in for her to say her final. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to Dare and Direct and soon to be Jazoda Glam Goddess. I really appreciate you guys watching our video. Um, all the products we use will be in the description. And let's get glam.